Man, that thing does a nice job. Oh, look at me, the last day with it. And then they're coming to get it. I'm gonna be really sad about that, actually. Well, on the road to 300 acre plus day today. We have two nice quarters we gotta do, and uh, we'll see how far we get today. Get a nice early jump on the day. Let's do this. Holy dustiness! You shut that machine off, boy. She really settles out some terrible dust. All right, here goes the first pass of the day. Field must have got a lot more rain because it is pretty wet out here and there's a few suppressed areas where the grass grew and so I lower the head to get under the shorter corn and then this grass gets stuck on the snoot and then when you go cut in on the headlands or something because we're trying to open the field up these big turds just break the corn off and push it all down because it's supposed to slide nice Ugh. Great way to start. I missed one. Here's something, guys. This is not a sales pitch at all. I'm trying to help you guys out. But that brush there, what we call Big Bird's brush, is a must have. You gotta get it. Lancota.com sells them just for a corn head. You gotta, can only use it on a corn head, but it saves so much corn. A lot of loose shelled corn comes flying back out of the feeder house, and that thing keeps it in the head. It's unreal the difference from last year. And this year with how dry the corn is, right out of the field, is extremely noticeable how well it helps. Ready to go, Brian? Let's go. The rain the other night, it kind of put a crust on all the red chaff. So that ain't blowing around no more. But I've been in there sweeping. Yeah. I just don't understand how all that chaff can come down that little spout. When way up on top of the grain leg, we got fans. There's fans up there that are supposed to suck that out. Didn't work. So now I'm cleaning. Let's see how this is gonna go. Stand back. No, that ain't working at all. Plan B. Plan C or plan D. No time to be wasted taxiing to the other end of the field to take some headlands off. Unload me. I need to clean these windows, my goodness gracious. Let's go! I say if you remember, this is that unload auger. 
that we put in and had taken that floor out. We're gonna fill her up today, but the motor ain't wired yet. So I hope it works or we're gonna have an issue. Okay, we're gonna put a little bit of corn down the pipe or in the leg to make sure. Why is that? It didn't like that. What happened? Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> oh, hit the center the whole time. <laughs> the big sweets. Instagramming. You gotta have fun with work. Come on. We'll try the next one. We don't need the fans on. They're always talking. That should be enough to go check the band. Wonder what happened to that thing. Oh, man, I hate trouble. Well, I chose the right spout. That's good. Now I'm gonna close the door. Unlike somebody else I know. Door is closed. So things have been going really good here for the last few days. We're really knocking out the corn. Hopefully, we're thinking before Friday, it's Tuesday now, we're hoping by Friday that we are gonna be done with corn harvest. This is ridiculous. It's gonna be the earliest that we ever finished corn harvest before. And another positive thing is that we are literally dumping for the last three days the corn right into the bins. It's so dry that it's ready to go, 14, 15-ish percent is kind of where the fields have dried down to. So that is a positive, but yet I think I'd rather, we would rather combine 19% corn because the head loss, their cobs are so dry that they hit the stripper plates in the head and the bottom of the top just explodes. So our header loss is just immense. There's really nothing that we can do about it, just disappointing. 19% corn doesn't really do that. and. Our dryers are set up really nice for 19% corn, so that's why we like to harvest it at that. It's what it is. We're saving money on propane costs, so that's positive. To the next one 160 acres done and it is 230. 
traffic jam, gotta wait. Needle her down here, turn on road mode. All that does is lock my hydro handles and then it also fluctuates the RPMs. If I'm below full speed, it'll idle the combine down and speed the uh, hydro up for fuel efficiency. But it's kind of pointless because I'm always full send. So then it's always wide open. Sorry, not sorry. Come on, sir. Thank you. So we're actually going to a perfectly square farm, another 155 acre field. This one was 160 acres, but it's 240s and a 80. It's kind of tough, a lot of headlands and a couple ditches, but it's a nice farm. Just a little more time consuming than a perfect square one. So that field right there is one of our farms and the 5200 Salford Forcer was used on it. Looks really nice and black, really black. Looking good. So some of you guys are probably wondering about the tracks on this combine, how we're liking it. Do we regret putting them on or not? So far they've been mechanically perfect. They got them perfectly aligned, have not had to touch it since we've been in the fields. Um, they do not heat at all on the guide lugs. No problems heat overheating the tracks, going full speed down the road at 23 to 24. It does pull harder going down the road it does take a lot more horsepower like it it's right at the top of the green to yellow if you can see that so it does take more horsepower on the road probably some in the field but you don't really notice it in the field it's just an extra drag as far as the ride so like the ride is super smooth going through ditches uneven road it's pretty decent but they do like at that three five three four they get this weird vibration i had a guy riding with me and he, so i was doing that speed and it started just this i don't know harmonic or really rough shaking in the cab everything was rattling he's like what's what's going on I'm like that yeah, tracks just do that at a certain speed i don't know why but it, it does so that's what i'm seeing with the tracks otherwise i do not regret putting them on i think they are awesome i like how sprayer ruts your flex head doesn't bounce the corn head doesn't bounce i look over at randy tile lines just unreal you don't even know you go over them until your rear tires are bouncing and that's when the head flies around and i look over at randy with the wheels on and he's bouncing and flying around holy cow <laughs> you saw the radio oh man that was rough really that wasn't too bad but uh, it, it's tracks on the road. I mean, they're a little rougher. You know, the newer uh, two tracks, four tracks, they all have air ride cabs while combine doesn't have an air ride cab. So you feel a little bit more vibration. But uh, in my opinion, it's a small price to pay for less compaction, smoother ride in the field. Yeah, I'll quit talking. I'm sure I bored you. I am in road mode and my hopper topper is closed. So that's why the separator didn't start. Cause I'm too busy YouTubing, opening. Look at that guy, he's got two American flags on a red combine. That looks sweet. America, I have to step up my game. We have to get three flags now. I'm gonna go show you a capacitor because it'll be so thrilling for you to see it. You'll never forget it. There they are. This one's bad. The whole top is all loose. I'd show you, but I really don't want to get hurt. So I'm not gonna show you. But they're bad. Make a trip to the big town of Clontarp. Big town. And I'm telling you, it's big. I forget, like 70 people. Maybe there's 100. Sorry to all you in Clontarf that I misspoke on your population, but it's not very big. So I know I've said it before, but with having two corn combines, because cutting over is so hard, you gotta follow the rows the best that you can. Cutting over just makes a mess. A lot of the corn just gets knocked down. Two corn combines following each other like this is really nice. And it used to work really well with the 29870s, but now the 790 needs to travel so fast to keep it full because I got it set for going fast. It really don't work the best anymore. But follow each other doing cut throughs like this works great because I can unload on the go and then when he gets full we switch spots he'll pull over one row I'll blow by him and then we'll both back up I'll go where he was going and then he'll take place where I'm cutting right now so that he can then unload and it literally is over double as efficient as running one because you literally do not stop ever very rarely do we sit and unload anymore it works very very efficient 
and that's what we are always striving for is efficiency, you know, less manpower. That's why we went from three combines to two combines, less manpower. Oh, we're gonna have a thick load here. Wow, we got action. It's action packed right here. Going to the back. Oh, I ran out. I couldn't get them full. I was going for the biggest load yet, but only 132,000 pounds on that one. Couldn't beat my record. Only 132,000. He's gonna line them up. Gonna line them up and do a double load. Double load situation. Insane. I don't know how they got so behind. And then they all showed up as once. They must have had trouble at the bend site, or who knows. I have a little truck today. We're full. Running. That's big. Hey, Clem. Here comes the other one. Oh, that's the same one. He's lost. I got to go. The other one. Red and green. Should have a blue one. No. Apparently there's a waiting list of the trucks right now. Hey guys, I just want to take a minute here to thank you all for watching our channel here, Larson Farms channel. Uh, we really appreciate it and appreciate your support. Please give the video a thumbs up and if you'd be so kind to share it, I'd appreciate it. We haven't grown this quickly without your help and support and I thank you guys very much. Can't get it started. The light game is on. We've lost one grain carter to turning his lights on. All the neighbors have their lights on. Here we are, bullheaded, sticking it out. <laughs> lights on. Whoever uh, turns their lights on last wins the game. Oh, we just lost Randy. He's pulled the plug. I'm not gonna beat the big Swede. That son of a buck never loses. I missed it with the camera. I was trying to chop around a tile and let, couldn't even see the grain cart. Had to turn the lights on. You son of a gun. I knew that was gonna happen. I knew you were waiting. Randy got out and cleaned his windows so he could go longer in the dark. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, it's kind of dark. I should clean mine too. All the neighbors have had their lights on for a half hour and here we are fighting it out. Good times, good times. That's how you wreck very expensive equipment, by the way. It's the stupidest game ever, but your master pipe layer is the guy that invented that on Instagram, or I should say made light of it. Looking for a tile inlet that I have mowed over somewhere around here. Here's the gap. <laughs> Here's the gap. Hold off legs anywhere? You got distracted. You're on or over, huh? Apparently. There he is. Look at the planter. Oh yeah, that's how you leave it. <laughs> planter planted right on it. Look at the corn plant growing on it. Duggle. Get back to work. Catch my grain. Come on. Well, here's the last load of the night. 295 acres done again just we just can't seem to break that although it ain't very late it's only eight but we're gonna shut her down because we're close to the end and weather looks good so don't have to wreck our sleep schedule too terribly bad so thanks for watching again guys i really appreciate it see you guys next time
I'm going to have to be careful the next time I ask for help because I have got a lot of people telling me what kind of glasses to buy or goggles. Which reminded me, most of them said DeWalt. And you see this here? Here? Yeah, I guess. I had forgot. Guess what was right here? Yeah. Enjoy your youth, because your memory goes. I'm set now. I am set. Woo! Without a doubt, the DeWalt, the DeWalts are the winners. You guys must really like the DeWalt. And I didn't even know it. Thanks, guys. But I think my phone is melting down. So stop. Stop!